Happy March Madness, everyone. The tournament tipped off this week. And remember, it was just a year ago that our own UMBC captured the country's attention with that incredible upset win over Virginia. Now, Baltimore is a city that embraces the underdog. So with that in mind, I thought I'd share my favorite Cinderella stories in Ravens history. Now, I wanted to keep this to people rather than games. So here are three people that come to my mind. Let's start with Justin Tucker. Not only was he undrafted, but he came to Baltimore as a tryout player during his rookie minicamp. He then earned a spot on the 90-man roster. He won the kicking job in training camp, and then he helped the Ravens win a Super Bowl as a rookie, and now he's the most accurate kicker in NFL history. That ain't too shabby. Next, I'll point to Marshall Yonda. He's been one of the NFL's best offensive linemen for the last decade. But before that, he grew up milking cows on a farm in Iowa. He had to go to junior college and barely received any interest from any Division I colleges. The Ravens then took him in the third round, and he turned himself into a perennial pro bowler who eventually may have himself a gold jacket. And lastly, I'll point to John Harbaugh. Back in 2008, he was an under-the-radar candidate for the Ravens head coaching job. There weren't too many people out there who predicted that the special teams coach from Philly would get the head coaching job here in Baltimore, but he did. And now he's won a Super Bowl, a ton of playoff games, and is one of the longest tenured and most respected coaches in the NFL. So those are my three favorite Cinderella's in Ravens history. What do you think? Ponder that while you're watching hoops over the next few days and let us know by interacting with us on social media.